out here with my sub Steven. Got a couple kayaks, uh, get him to the water. Here's the part where we cross, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta do a little river crossing to head to the spot. Take off my shoes, Let's get to it. So here's where uh, Steven normally takes the kayaks through, a little overgrown. Did you bring your machete, man? <laughs> nope, got my hands. Got your hands? Alright, that should uh that should work too. Huh. Uh. Through the jungle. Ah. Uh. Ooh, quite a little adventure here, man. Yeah. Alright, here's the tough part of the journey. It's getting real thick. How's it looking? Pretty thick? Back out. Back out? All right. We need to find a new route. This one uh, is a little too overgrown. <laughs> oh shit. I'm good. Woo! You good? Yeah. New respect for kayak fishermen. All right, we're trying out path number two now. See if this will lead us to the pond. I see the light. Oh man, out of the woods. Now onto the pond. I guess you can do it however you want, but I like to go in from the uh, beginning and kind of fish the whole thing. Let's do it. That sounds good to me. Right, I was getting this pond, second time ever on a kayak. Steven's got a uh, number two over there. His first one was about two pounder. Let's see if I can launch this without uh, falling in. There we go, I'm in. Feels good to be in a kayak again. Man, super stealthy. Let's see if I can get a topwater bite going. Steven's whacking him on the wacky rig. I might switch to that if I don't get any topwater hits. There's one. It's my first fish right here. Yeah. Switch to Senko. Oh yeah, it's a decent, pretty little fish. Hit it right on the fall. Alright, let's see how I land this fish from the kayak. That's the tricky part. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. First one of the day. Wacky Rick Senko. About a pound and a quarter, maybe. Maybe a pound and a half. Let him go. Oh, that's... Other hit. And another one. Oh, that's another decent fish. It, it, oh, nice. That's so cool how the kayak gets pulled around. Man, I can't imagine hooking. What happens if you hook like a five pounder in a kayak? You get, you get towed. <laughs> you get towed? Yeah. Got you. Choke that. Look at that. Man. All right, quick release. Another pretty large mouth. Definitely a Senko pond. Shallow, a lot of vegetation, a lot of grass. The sun's up. We're about to make a move to a much bigger lake. It's the, what, eight times this size? About, yep. yeah. Uh, Steven calls this the warm-up pond. The next lake we're about to fish actually has small mouth and large mouth. So uh, things might get pretty interesting. Kayak technique, learning the ways of the kayak fisherman. Hard paddle, straight to the bank. I give it a shot. Hard paddle, let's see how fast I'm able to go. Here we go. Try to get myself on the bank. Ah, uh, that's not bad. You did it perfect. We're now heading to spot number two. Got a little walk ahead of us. First part of the journey starts on the road. And now we go back into the woods. This should be interesting. So like an obstacle course, man. Yeah. <laughs> ah. All right, now we gotta cross a little makeshift bridge here.
Yeah, they're a little, these logs are a little wobbly. They'll get the job done though. Uh. This kind of reminds me of the Hunger Games. <laughs> we need to cross this river. Right now we need to find a spot to launch these uh, kayaks and do. Uh, another point trying this side then. Might as well go for the gold. So we couldn't really find a good bank to uh, drop in. So this is about a what? Three foot drop? Yeah. Let's try to make it work. Here we go. Try to guide, it in. guide it in. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go. Uh, woo! Alright, one kayak down. In the river, we're looking for somewhere to cross on the left so we can get up and then walk to the lake. Yeah, try to swing your leg out this way. I'll leave it if it goes tilt or fall. Alright, we're good. Ah, uh, yeah. Put a little bit of water in there. Got a little water in there from my almost uh, wipeout. The inside and then, and then seal the outside too. Gotcha. So we're gonna <laughs> leave the kayaks here for a second. We're just gonna walk up to see, uh, see if we can see the lake. It's been, a, it's been quite a journey so far. <laughs> Seen some interesting stuff today, that's for sure. That's a, that's a so we drug, uh, we drug, wait, we dragged, we drug? Drug. Drug, okay. We drug the kayaks on that road. You can see uh, a lot of it wore off here and right here. This is where the hole is. Definitely our mistake on that. So on both of them. On both of them. Well, we're still gonna try to catch a few fish, so let's get going. It's looking tricky. We need to somehow cross over there. Whew. We got the brush, we got some sticks, we're going through all kinds of terrain. Yeah. Uh, stinging nettles. Yeah. What do they look, oh yeah, those things. These are called stinging nettles, these guys. So yeah, if you ever get hit by these, it's gonna burn like crazy for like 10 minutes or maybe more. Not a very fun experience. I wonder how many ticks we have on us, dude. I already pulled two off. Yeah. You already pulled two off? I haven't even looked yet. Now I'm scared to look. All right, it's too thick, guys. We are gonna have to abandon the plan. We're gonna head back and uh, we'll see. All right, we're trying to find our way back. We're looking for our kayaks, which are somewhere around here, somewhere around the forest. So we can't find our kayaks. Steven is gonna swim the bank to look for the opening we went to. Then he's gonna shout and I'm gonna carry all of our gear to that spot. I, I don't recognize any of this. That's where it bends. I think, uh, let's just walk that way. Yeah, we, we came down really far. Yeah. In worst case, when I get up there, then I'll do the same thing. Yeah, all right. No swimming yet. We're thinking that we actually just, we were probably really close to the kayaks and we decided to make a move. We're gonna head back that way. It's gotta be over there. There's a the kayak. You, oh, you found him? Yeah. yeah. Oh man, all right, everything's still here. <laughs> Guys, somehow made it back. Put the kayaks in, but we're not done yet. We're gonna go on foot. We gotta find that lake. It looks like a lake right here. Lake's over here? Wait, I can't see it yet. That's the, no, no, I see the lake. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, I see the lake. Dude, we made it. Finally, all the hard work today. So close. Now we just gotta find some bank access and we'll catch some fish. Oh, I had a bite way out there. Oh, there it is again. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. Eat it. There he is. What the heck? It's a five inch bass. Yeah. <laughs> Smallest fish we got today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is what the five hour hike came down to. This, this little guy. Yeah, this place would be really, really nice to fish off a kayak. You can fish all the shade lines. There's a good fish. Oh, it's a good bass. Oh, no! That was a nice bass. 
Dang it! Right before we had to leave. Ah. Oh. Uh, no, not five, not five. It's like, it's like a four, four, maybe. It's a good fish. So we got a bunch of minnows here. Got blue, little baby bluegill swimming everywhere. Throwing this little Kai Tech swing impact. Kind of in a bluegill type color, green pumpkin and uh, kind of a chartreuse color. Just reeling it slow along the bottom, trying to fish the drop offs. Man, five minutes ago, I lose that fish. Calling it a day. Beautiful lake. Unfortunately, didn't have a lot of time to fish it, but the time we did, we saw some uh, really cool fish action. Big thanks to Steven from Double O Obsession Outdoors for taking me out here. Appreciate it, man. No if you guys problem. want to check out his channel to see what he caught, you can find a link in the video description below. And you know, it was quite an adventure out here, man. Enjoying the great outdoors. Good workout. <laughs> Good workout for sure. And looking forward to the uh, next time we can come out here, hopefully in the morning, get the kayaks out and really explore this place.